Single-use plastic bags have been the target of state bans and legislation as their impact becomes more and more realized. The amount of plastic bags in the environment has become a huge problem because Americans alo alone use approximately 100 billion plastic bags a year, but only an estimated 1% are actually recycled. Plastic takes years to decompose, and even when these bags break down, they don't fully degrade. They turn into microplastics, or tiny pieces of plastic that contaminate the environment and the food sources of humans and animals. Hi, my name's Lisa Nicolosi, and today I'll talk about the many alternatives to disposable plastic bags. Choosing the best option for your business and customers will be based on a combination of your sustainability goals, your budget, and how your customers will use the bag. Your options are paper, reusable plastic, cotton, non-woven polypropylene, compostable, woven polypropylene, and finally, jute bags. To be accepted under most local legislation, paper bags must contain at least 40% post-consumer recycled content. Some pros are that they are recycled and can be reused multiple times. Some cons are paper bags made from recycled fiber still require more fossil fuels to produce and manufacture than plastic bags. If they get wet, they lose their strength and can rip. To avoid torn bags, many people double bag it, which increases the amount of paper bags you'll need to purchase. And it will increase the amount of paper waste. Finally, paper bags are heavier than single-use plastic bags, which, believe it or not, leads to an increase in transportation costs, gas emissions, and um, waste disposal costs. Reusable plastic bags can be made from post-consumer recycled content or post-industrial content. They must be at least two and a quarter mil thick to be accepted under most state bans. As the name implies, they can be reused multiple times, in some cases up to 25 times. Although they are reusable, people generally don't think to reuse the bag or don't reuse it enough times to make up for the added plastic material. Studies have also found that about 40% of shoppers um, forget to bring their reusable bags with them. Plus, when these bags are discarded, they have a worse impact on the environment than the bags they're trying to replace. Finally, the bags are not typically accepted by curbside recyclers. They must be brought to the recycling facility. Cotton bags can be made from traditional, organic, or recycled cotton. Unless you're buying organic cotton, the bags may be treated with chemicals and pesticides. Cotton bags are desi designed to be reused hundreds of times. Most cotton bags are easy to clean and can be machine washed in cold water. However, cotton bags require more energy than single-use plastic bags to manufacture. Most people uh, don't realize that they need to wash their bags regularly to prevent cross-contamination. When it comes to non-woven polypropylene bags, there are several options to choose from. Super thin is fantastic for the environment. Even though they're made from plastic, they mostly contain recycled plastic that is produced with what we call sonic wheeled. This enables the bag to be thin, but still very strong, and so it should last for a long time. Then there's traditional polypropylene bags, which are sold in most grocery stores. And finally, we have laminated polypro. The benefit of lam the laminated version is that these give you a really upscale look, and they give you the ability to print high quality, uh, full color graphics that can help you really help you promote your brand. All of these bags are machine washable, which cuts down on cross-contamination. Many people don't realize how much bacteria these bags can actually carry, and they must be washed regularly. Compostable bags are made from renewable raw materials. They are certified to break down in either a composting facility or in a home composting environment. The problem with these bags is they greatly resemble the traditional plastic bags that they are trying to replace. It sends a confusing message to the consumer. Also, compostable bags have a very limited shelf life. They need to be stored in a cool, dark, and dry place. If they're not stored properly, they'll begin to lose some of their strength and break down. Next, let's talk about woven polypropylene. Very similar to their non-woven counterpart, they're made from recycled polypropylene. The plastic is then stretched into threads, which are woven together to create fabric. The fabric is then sewn into reusable bags. These are great for the environment, as they last a really long time, but please don't forget to wash them after each use. 
Your final option that we're gonna discuss today is the jute bag. Jute bags are made from vegetable fibers that are spun into durable and strong strands. They are the most environmentally friendly option as they are made from a natural, renewable resource. It breaks down into organic materials and then they can be reused until the material starts to fray. A major negative of the jute bag is that they are difficult to clean. And sometimes they're treated with chemicals to make them resistant to moisture, which negates the ability for them to be composted. Transitioning away from single-use plastic bags can be difficult and confusing. The good news is that all of these options are available. Plus, they can be printed and branded with your message or logo to help promote your business. Please reach out to your Imperial Dade rep, who can happily walk you through all of these options to find the very best fit for you and your business. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like more info, please read the article below and please like and subscribe.